What's going on YouTube? This is What Would Josh Do? And I got my TF701T uh, a couple days ago. Um, I had the wrong charger. I was sent the right charger, charged it up fully, and now I've just been dying to root this thing. I, I love it. It's awesome. So the few moments that I've had with it while I charged it up, it's been very snappy and I love the screen size and the resolution and I love, you know, so far I love everything but about it. Um, you're able to change the quick things where it doesn't do like the, the Asus, like, you know, like, ah, oh, their, their little thing, you can change it to stock Android. Um, it does obviously change the battery and stuff. It doesn't look stock, but you know, it is what it is. There's obviously some things they got to do to account for the dock battery, but let's get started. We're going to root this thing. The bootloader is locked at the moment. We're going to unlock it. We're going to open up the browser here. And then we're going to search for the TF701T uh, support. All right, so we're going to hit go and then tablets and this. So we're going to click this link right here. And then we're going to go to, sub. whoa, let's use Chrome because <laughs> I don't know what the heck is going on there. All right, so we're going to search for support and then we're going to click this first link. And then we're going to request the desktop site. And then uh, we're going to go to support. And support, awesome. Okay, so here we're going to dry, uh, manuals and downloads. Okay, so not manuals and documents, I'm sorry. Go to drivers and tools. And then for here, you need to choose Android. And then you need to go to utilities. And then you'll see system update SOP, uh, unlock device app, unlock bootloader. So we'll click on the global link right there. And then we'll click on Chrome just once. And then we'll click on Chrome again just once. And we'll click on Chrome. And this is getting a little bit irritating. All right, so we'll use ES, down, ES downloader. All right, so it... It did an unlock rare, so what we're going to do is we're going to download something that will open up a rare file. So Z Archiver, it's something that opens up a rare file. I usually use Root Explorer, but obviously I'm not rooted at the moment, so I can't use it. So we're going to go to open. We're going to go to our downloads and then you'll see the rare file right there. We're going to go ahead and extract here and then you'll see a folder and then you'll see an app right there. To install that app, we're going to need to go to our settings and then we're going to need to go to security and then we're going to need to go to verify apps, uncheck that and then check unknown sources and press OK. Now when we go back to here, we can press on this, open the APK. And then next, 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 install, <laughs> and then open. And then here it's just basically telling you, look, your warranty is gone. You, um, you're responsible for anything you do to the device that messes it up. So just keep that into consideration. If you, if you install something wrong or if you mess something up and your tablet doesn't start up anymore, that's not Asus's problem. That's your problem. So. I'm going to go ahead and accept it because I know what I'm doing and then agree and press to unlock your device. It's going to ask you to type in the password for your Gmail account. Once you type in your password, hit OK. It's going to power down. It says receive unlock code command to unlock bootloader. Please wait for a few minutes. Unlock success. So now our bootloader is unlocked. We can install uh, Team Win Recovery Project. We can install Phil's uh, Advanced Touch Recovery. We can install uh, Clockwork Model Recovery. We can install any recovery that we want to. And it's going to permanently say this or the device is unlocked when you turn the device off and you turn it back on or when you or when you reboot it when, when you power it on basically every time it powers on it's going to say the device is unlocked and there's no way to get rid of that and that's how they're going to know that you've voided your warranty so please know that with great power comes great responsibility 
and you can inevitably totally screw up your device if you do something wrong and it was your fault. You did it, not Asus. You did. <laughs> so with all those things put aside, if you follow directions and if you don't do if you're unsure about something, read into it, look into it, make sure you know what you're doing. And if you don't, don't do it. It's that simple. You're talking about a device that you're going to have to pay out of pocket for if you screwed up. You're going to have to pay for it to be shipped off to Asus for them to uh, fix it and send it back to you or to just get a new one. Okay, and so when you unlock the bootloader, obviously it resets the tablet. I will put that up at an earlier point though, so people know that what happens. So it's just like the initial thing. You um, accept everything, you log into your Wi-Fi, you sign into your Google account. Yes. And then if you sign in correctly, you will get past this little screen right here. And then it'll ask if you wanna restore your device. I recommend choosing yes right here, the backup and restore thing, just because uh, all the Wi-Fi access points you connected to, uh, a lot of your settings and stuff you did will get restored and you won't have to do it. Now, all your apps and stuff, those are gone. Once you do this, you're you're resetting the device completely. So, I mean, um, also make sure before you do this that you back up the stuff you want to back up. Uh, there was nothing on there because I know from unlocking Nexus 7s and HTC devices it automatically does that on everything I've used so far. So this isn't new to, uh, once you unlock something, most of the time it resets it. So we're just going to accept all this and then I am in the central time zone in Kansas City. Uh, <laughs> like literally uh, 10 minutes or less away from Google Fiber and uh, I already talked about it and we will be moving into a fiber hood um in october so i'm excited about that they have apartments that have google fiber already set up and the rent's actually in our price range so i'm pretty excited about that and okay so i mean it's a fresh clean tablet at this point you're not rooted you need to install custom recovery and then you need to install super su super su and you either need to put it on the micro sd card on the side here or you need to uh, push it to the device um, and before you flash recovery and then in recovery you can flash it or you need to ADB sideload the uh, Super Su and or actually um, Twerp actually has a feature built into it that allows you to root it. I don't think Twerp is available at the moment. We're going to do some research on that, figure that out. But in the description below where it says show more, please click that and you'll expand the description and you'll get to see all of the links. There will be a link, one of the first links actually, it will say how to root the transfer pad TF701T um, and there'll be a link to a YouTube video on how to do it. Also, I'll try to put an annotation up so you can just click on that if you don't feel like looking in the description or something, I don't know. But uh, yeah, so we are unlocked. We need to root it, that's the next step and I will be doing that immediately after this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up by clicking the like button below. It's just a little click, but trust me, it goes a long way. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. That's how you'll know when I'm working on new videos. Uh, whenever I post a new video, it auto tweets to Twitter. And most of the time, uh, like Flossie Carter, if he uploads a video, uh, his Twitter, it'll pop up on Twitter saying, hey, he uploaded a video before it even hits my YouTube sub box. So please follow me on Twitter if you wanna stay up to date on the latest videos that I'm working on. And please follow me on Instagram. I also have Facebook, Google+, and etc. All of those will be linked in the description below. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out. Deuces.